on behalf of department of english government post graduate college attack uh, i welcome you all uh, these online classes have been started to help students uh, for the preparation of the final papers uh, that will be conducted by the university of the punjab as uh, the covid 19 Uh, has uh, disturbed all fields of life similarly academic life and educational institutions have also been affected by this in order to save the time of the students and to enable them to prepare themselves for the final exam uh, these classes are started on the instructions of higher education department government of the punjab lahore i am abdul qayyum assistant professor of english uh, in today's lecture i would introduce you to the paper pattern and the distribution of the marks in this lecture primarily the focus is on the introduction of the paper just to know uh, about the questions that are included in part 2 and also their distribution of the marks so this would help you in understanding how many marks are awarded to a question so keeping in uh, view all these uh, points you would be able to attempt your paper uh, in a good and successful way because this would enable you to know the weightage of each question and how that question can be attempted in a way to secure as maximum marks as possible so this a lecture is very much important from this perspective just to know the weightage of each question and how to uh, get these marks in your paper uh, here comes part 2 in part 2 there are two uh, sections of the paper uh, paper a Uh, paper A consists of 40 marks, uh, in which there would be two questions you have to attempt. Uh, one question will be from the modern essays, uh, and that question would be of 20 marks. Similarly, uh, there would also be a question uh, from the novel uh, The Old Man and the Sea, and that question would also carry 40 marks. So, uh, paper A. Uh, the section related to the textbooks that section contains 40 marks then coming to the paper b at the part of the grammar uh, that part uh, attains 60 marks thus making uh, 100 marks in total so section a carries 40 marks and section b uh that would be primarily about grammar that section of the paper contains uh, 60 marks so there are 100 marks in the whole paper of the part 2 uh, 40 for the a section and 60 for the b section so we can uh, understand here uh, that paper b uh, is important in the sense that it carries uh, 60 marks Uh, so we need to concentrate on this section of the paper uh, so as to secure as maximum marks as uh, possible Our dear students uh, let's start uh, the distribution of the marks and we would uh, discuss uh, the distribution of marks uh, question wise uh, in the section b or the part that is related to uh, grammar 
So the first question of uh, uh, the grammar section is about the uh, essay uh, with outlines. Uh, then in this distribution there are 25 marks for this question and 20 marks uh, are given to the essay and 5 marks have been uh, allocated to the uh, writing of the outlines. Uh, you know that writing an essay is really a great task and that needs the uh, matchless skill in order to master the writing of an essay. Uh, so this question is also very much important as it carries uh, 25 marks. So the writing of essay uh, is uh, are definitely uh, an art and that needs a lot of expertise on the part of the uh, writer uh, so as to have information as well as the sense of the sentence structure and grammar and vocabulary uh, to understand these things in a, in a better and suitable way for the understanding of the uh, art of writing an essay. So uh, this is the question or related to the essay writing and 20 marks have been specified for essay and Five marks are allocated to the uh, outlines. So uh, this question uh, is uh, uh, attaining 25 marks that, that, are, that are very much important that 25 marks uh, mean a lot uh, because this is one fourth of the paper. If the paper this paper is of 100 marks and 25 percent of the marks are allocated to essay writing. So uh, what we learn from this one is to concentrate on the art of writing an essay uh, because uh, that art can be learned by a conscious learning and the process of learning uh, so if you concentrate a lot on this art you would be able to express yourself in a better way and uh, so uh, coming and uh, to, to, to uh, tell in short and brief I would say that there is the question related to essay writing in which are normally four to five topics are given and you have to uh, attempt uh, that one question that is that's given uh, there. Uh, so uh, that's what we need to be careful about all these things so as to avoid confusion uh, because uh, this is a long process. Essay writing is not a matter of a day uh, or week, rather it is a continuous process with dedication and commitment and then you would be able to come up with the flying colors. Our distribution of the marks uh, continues. Uh, then the next question is related to the correction of uh, sentences and this question uh, carries 10 marks. Uh, in uh, correction of the sentences, uh, incorrect sentences are given and uh, the mistakes in the incorrect sentences uh, could be the mistakes of the noun, or pronoun, or adjective, adverb, uh, like this one and this could also be related to the subject verb agreement. So, uh, incorrect sentences are provided in the question paper and you would be required to uh, write those sentences in a correct uh, order uh, and correct manner and uh, you will be given 10 sentences and what you need is to attempt 5 sentences out of that. I mean uh, 10 uh, wrong sentences. Uh, or the sentence with an error would be given and then you have to uh, attempt that paper uh, and then you have to write those uh, sentences again in the uh, correct term, uh, order and correct sentence of uh, uh, is, is made of the incorrect sentences. Uh, so uh, in total you would be given the 10 sentences and you have to attempt five, question, uh, five 
sentences to correct them. Uh, so the correction of one sentence carries uh, two marks. So these marks are very much important because we can see that these are the mathematical marks. Uh, if your sentence is correct, then it's uh, these will be two marks. If two correct, then four. So these this question is very much important from securing uh, marks because paper B the pattern of paper B uh, is very much uh, uh, certain and that is almost fixed uh, because in the case of uh, uh, prepositions or idioms and uh, these uh, making the correct sentences these are very much pertinent questions as they they have a high ratio of giving uh, return to the uh, students who participate in the exams so uh, that is the that is much more important to take this question very much serious as as it, it can uh, come up with wonders for uh, you people so uh, I would request all students to uh, listen to uh, this lecture attentively and I hope that if uh, uh, they follow the process and they follow the lectures here they will be able to correct uh, most of the sentences that they they may be speaking wrong or they may be writing something wrong so this question is is crucial in that sense that it helps in bringing out uh, and and identifying the mistakes in the sentences and then trying to solve to solve them as earlier uh, as possible so from this perspective we can see that this question is again important uh, as it, it contains sound marks uh, in, in paper B portion of this uh, the part 2 of BA uh, the next question uh, in the paper is uh, related to phrasal verbs or idioms uh, and this question also carries uh, 10 marks uh, so uh, the students are given uh, either phrasal verbs or idioms and some, sometimes the mixture of both so this basically depends upon the availability of the uh, things that are, or the uh, choices that you can have uh, so uh, 10 quests 10 uh, phrasal verb or idioms are given and the students are required to uh, use or uh, make sentences of the five uh, phrasal verbs of the uh, idioms. If we look at it from the perspective of the marks, uh, so this question is also very much important. Uh, very much important, I mean that all the definitely all the questions are important that are included in the paper. But important means that these care these. Uh, idioms or the use of the verbs they contain the fixed sort of the marks that if your sentence of an idiom is correct then there are two marks the next correct then four then then six and then eight and then ten so uh, this this would help you in knowing the things that you you want to do so uh, this part of the question is related to the usage of the verbs and the idioms in your own sentences and in one way that would also help in improving your spoken as well just you can listen to something else but if 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 that is not there the spirit is not there and what we need is to concentrate on this question as well uh, we should I, I i don't say that ignore all the questions but this question again is just like the uh, that uh, form that we visited this one so uh, idioms are very much important in this in this uh, formation and knowing their forms in, in this one uh, to make it in the good way Uh, here comes the final question of the of the uh, portion of the grammar or the P, paper B portion. Uh, so in this question, uh, there are two choices. Number one, uh, that is the application for job. 
in which uh, an advertisement is given and you have to write an application for seeking a job in which uh, you would address your employer uh, and also mention your credentials uh, telling about your academic qualification of the experience uh, and the, the skills you have uh, and uh, your brief uh, bio uh, so this is uh, is concerned with the art of writing an application for a job uh, this is the uh, the first one part of this question and this question uh, carries uh, 15 marks or there is a choice that either attempt the question related to the writing of a job application or then the letter to uh, an editor this is also uh, the part of that question that either attempt uh, to write the job application or to write a letter to an editor in job application I have already said that you have to write an application to your employer to uh, giving him the reasons that why are you suitable candidate for that one uh, so uh, that is that is related to the application related to the job or the job application and secondly uh, letter to an editor uh, in which uh, you are given a certain issue and you need to seek the help of the newspaper or the editor uh, because uh, they can help you if they publish that issue or the demand of the people in their newspapers so definitely uh, this publishing of the uh, news in the paper is is important because it attracts the attention of the people uh, in uh, in a more convincing and uh, economical way uh, so whenever there is some problem the people or the public uh, try to uh, publish it in the paper uh, in this way they expect to attain the attention of the concerned authorities uh, if some issue is highlighted in the newspapers so definitely these uh, these highlights have certain effects on making public view uh, so uh, that is the letter of decision to the uh, editor so uh, this was the distribution of the marks and the pattern of the paper uh, the basic purpose is to make you people familiar with the paper pattern and the distribution of the marks that when you start uh, your preparation for the next class uh, what are the questions that are set in your paper and what is the weightage of the each question again uh, this aspect is very much important uh, because preparation for the exam really needs hard work but it is also the matter of management uh, just to detect that what are the questions that that offer more marks with the least effort with the least effort I mean uh, that you uh, you attain it's again more uh, then what you have already done for this one so this spotting uh, of the marks is basically the purpose of this uh, uh, introductory lecture that you know that which question contains how many marks and what is the nature of those marks suppose uh, essay carries 25 marks uh, definitely there is a, uh, the, the big part of the uh, paper uh, but uh, attempting the questions of the correction and the agents of the phrase verbs they are uh, comparatively more uh, generous sort of the question that they give more uh, marks and the exact marks to the uh, students uh, so 
uh, then the letter for the job application that is that will be shared with you people uh, when uh, discussing in your class I think uh, that I have uh, tried to acquaint you people with the paper pattern and the distribution of the marks if you still feel some sort of the confusion uh, then you can ask your questions in the whatsapp group uh, that has been uh, established uh, for the link between the student and the teacher uh, so as to uh, get your queries addressed in through through that whatsapp group so thank you very much for joining us us today